Good afternoon, uh, everybody. Welcome back to uh, the Z32 workspace or garage. Um, my name is uh, Z James. Uh, today we're going to work on, or I should say this afternoon, we are going to work on continuing working on uh, dash removal components. Um, last time we tore apart, we were working on the steering column, got some most of that taken care of, did the gauge cluster, and then started working on the center stack, uh, working our way down from the radio down through, removing the bezel, that's up there. Um, next we're going to work probably around the glove box area, remove that out of the way with some panels, um, and then keep working our way to get the center stack out. And then most likely we'll end up removing the gear selector for the automatic transmission, which will be helpful for you guys that are doing um, manual swaps, showing you at least the upper portions of the stuff you have to remove to make that work. Um, I think that's it for right now for a recap and what we're going to do today. So let's get started. All right, guys, here's the uh, project car again, or parts car, as I like to say. It's a 93. As you can see, I uh, removed the ECU and the automatic transmission unit at the moment. Um, these seats are not in great shape, but I will be selling them to uh, someone local, most likely. These are a pain to ship. Um, but as you can see from the last time we were at, this is the center console stack. We are going to be removing this panel here which is this screw here, this screw here, and this screw there. And there's another one down on the bottom down here. But first we're gonna take the glove box out here to get access. Uh, and also recap, the footwell panel here is where the transmission and the ECU for everything is. This connector is for the ECU, this one is for the transmission for the automatic, and there would be a wooden panel that covers that. Wood is actually factory for this car on that. So let's go ahead and start removing this stuff. As always, I'm gonna take this panel off here, which for this side, once again, is just a pull. It's got a tab right there. Should come right on out without too much of a problem. In fact, we'll probably remove this out of the way just to start removing more of the interior pieces. All right, guys, there are two screws on the south side here. I don't like you're seeing this. I'm hoping you are. box comes down should be a screw right here be a screw right here as you can see it looks like there's some damage to this um, this is a factory here um, there is a hole drilled into this I've been thinking they did something I'm not sure exactly what but they did something to it As you can see, I know I'm not talking a whole lot, guys, but you just have got to get this guy. Come on, pull in. As that comes in, pull this in. Should be able to because there's another screw. Yeah, there's one right. It's hard to tell, guys, but there's one right. 
down here in the bottom. Now all you do is you take this, move this in, and we'll do it. Let me uh, pause you guys here for a moment since I know you're not really seeing a whole lot. Okay. Um, this was more of a pain, but you got to pull this down and this down off here to get to this bolt here to get this last panel out. And let me show you. Oh, that is actually a bolt. I'm going to have to get my socket, guys, to get that out of there. But that's how you remove that one. Uh, let me put you on hold while I get my tools. All right. Get the last bolt moved. She should come right on out. And we'll bend it out just a little bit. There's a tab right here, guys. It fits underneath the other one. Once you get it, it comes right on out. So let's take a look at the next stuff, stuff we're going to be removing, which should be the bottom of the console here. If we were working our way down, as this goes, we are into this. Now this, here's a trick, guys. There's a bolt or a screw there, screw there. Now here's the trick on this, guys. They're hidden. But the other ones are just underneath here. So there's one there. And there should be one there. Well, should have been one there. Should have been one other one there. Looks like someone's had this all apart before. And that doesn't surprise me one bit. And once we get those out, this should come right on up. Um, we might, in fact, take this center panel out here. Which would be one there, there, and over there. And this should come right on up because there are two screws on that side and that side. So that gets us the center panel, the mid center panel there. I'll give you an idea of what that looks like, guys. So, yeah, other than the fact that those two screws, let's, uh, let's remove them here, guys, and we'll get this done. Look at these split. Let's see what's going on. All right. Removing that one screw. One screw. These will have washers on them. This should have been held in by five. There should have been three underneath of them here where I showed you. Now that they're done with, though, this has a clip on it. This should lift right on up. Um, there are going to be a couple connectors to get with. It'd be this guy right here. And this. Um, the reason being is this will have a key lock for the back and for the gas lid. So there are two connectors you got to remove on this. And you get my tr trusty, trusty butthead screwdriver. That one's done. And, come on, that one's done. So this is now loose. And we'll take a look at that. Show that area to you guys. That is the entire center run of the car. See, there would be three here, one, two, three, four, five, holding this on. And it would be trapped in the lid behind this. Now beyond this, that's the cable for that and everything else. Let me do some cleanup, guys, and I'll get you started. And I think we're going to pop one of these seats out. Which actually, this seat here is already loose. There is a bolt there that should have been in. And get you guys down in here. One there. And with the release of the lever. Sorry about this, guys. I know it's not the greatest. There would be two back here. One, two. And then the seat's only held in by four. There will be a connector on the bottom for uh, the seat. To let you know that you're in it. Actually, for the uh, seat belt itself connector. So, all right, guys. All right, guys. Still working on this thing. Beauty to be in a convertible, I can step right in through. All right, 
the next thing we're going to take off is uh, for ease. Sorry about moving you guys around. We're going to take off the shifter here. Um, it should have four bolts holding it down and there'll be uh, associated connectors. Um, just like there is a mess of connectors here that was underneath the control, there's going to be a mess here. So let me get you guys set up and we can watch me remove this and then we get the shifter out of the way. And that will probably be calling it good for today. Or at least for this video, I should say. Um, so hang on, let me get you set back up. All right. Let's see here. Oh, uh, those are going to be probably 12. That's a 10. So sorry about that, guys. I'm going to go run and grab my Kirk wrench here. I know I don't need like sitting around as much as I do. Let me see if I can get that right away so I can get that up and out. All right, get the right socket right now. 12 millimeter. This removal will be handy for guys who want to do a manual swap, because you'll have to do this to get the um, shifter in for the new for the manual transmission. You have to use the exact same spots for this area. So you have to get all of this stuff on out. And this one being in a little bit longer spot here, I can't use my short extension. I'm using a little bit longer one to get into where I need to go. So you guys know I'll probably be saving the carpet out of this just as a spare and get it cleaned up maybe be useful maybe not uh, or at least the bare minimum could be used as a template to create new all right let's see if I can get this last one out of the way All right, this last bolt, or last bolt, was actually hidden underneath the shifter, the shifter linkage. Actually, the, the, what it is is the key safety, so you can't remove the key. So that goes through here. So what I'm trying to do is pop it out of the way, or at least get it out of the way so I can get the, get it up and out. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's why I had it, anyway. There we go. I'll show you that, guys, after I get this thing out of here, what I'm talking about and what that is. Um, you saw it on the like, key. It's got a, a specific cable that comes out. And depending on what position you're in, you won't be able to remove the key. It's a safety feature to make sure you don't leave the car in drive or reverse or neutral in that fashion. All right, as you can see, I was able to pop that up. There is a connector right here we need to deal with, which can screwdriver, find plug, pop out. There's one up front same thing it's this guy right here and then the only thing left is the safety switch which should be if I can find the mechanism should be able to pop off all right guys I want to put you on hold the second Y monkey with this 
Oh, well, hang on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. That cable right there is the issue, and it's the safety switch. There was a plug here, and a plug here you need to do. All right, guys. If you can see this, what you got to get, if I can get the zoom in right, there's a little safety pin right here to remove, kick this out, and the cable will be loose. So what I need is, well, I'm going to use a little bit of, so I remove that, kick it on over, and it will be slide right on out. And then the other thing that's hooked left is, oh, what the heck is hooked left? That's out. Sorry. Sorry about this, guys. I know you're, there you go. Complete, there's a shifter. Um, this I probably will sell. Uh, probably just Facebook trade groups. Hit me up in the comments if you guys want it. Uh, I won't. It's not needed for me. But there's some of the parts that we've taken off so far, guys. Of the laundry list of stuff. And then there's the hole. Uh, this is another module for the uh, airbag system. As we get farther and farther. So let me get you flipped around. Close the video out here for you guys. Hey! End of the video time. Um, that's what we're going to remove for right now. Like I said, I'm taking it in chunks, pieces when I get time and do it. As you can see, it's in the afternoon. I'm sweating buckets right now. So, um, but we were able to remove the more of the center console, uh, the panel on the direct passenger side, where those bolts are at. Uh, there should have been five for the center with the lid. Uh, there was only two. Once again, this car is not surprising with the type of material they've done and how well they put things back. I'm assuming it probably was a rattle trap everywhere. And then the panel behind that, uh, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, center panel, middle, up and out. Um, that has three on top, two on the side. I didn't remove them and I didn't show you where they're at because they were already gone. But there will be two screws there. Um, also for the kick panel aside, the trick there is you gotta get the glove box to open up. That was a pain for me. And then the shifter, four bolts hold it, two connectors, sorry, two connectors, and then the safety cable, which you gotta pull the pin the catch on it and that's it so once again guys uh this is z2 z32 workshop and uh like and subscribe if you guys get any comments hit me up